how they accomplished everything. How much did you spend on the building up there? Mr. Flanders. How much did you spend on the building? 90? How, how much did you get a contractor to give you an estimate for? We didn't get one, did we? How much do you think it would have been? Well, I know it costs more. I understand that. If you have a water leak, an eight inch water leak, how much do you think a contractor is going to be to come I up and fix that? What you're saying. Do you guys understand that? Yes. You do, but what's your what point are you trying to get at? The point that I'm trying to get at are, now are you say are you trying to like hold him hostage now that well, well you agreed to do this previously? Well yes, if what we but, did is we went through all the work to try to get this job done. He committed to it, and now he's saying he doesn't want to do it. So, yes, I have a question. Do you know how the rest of the village looks at all this? Does anybody ever come and say anything about yeah, I how... Yeah, I had three or four people question me on it, and they were totally wrong. They were totally wrong? Yes. That it's not thought that you guys take advantage of him? That he does about... I don't think anybody has ever said that we take advantage of Bob Marr. No one told you that. Huh? No one's told you that. No. Okay. Do you, do you have contact with, let's say, North Hornell? <laughs> and do you realize what you've got here? That they have a four inch water main break and they're calling major contractors come in to do every aspect of that job. And the difference in cost, can I talk? The difference in cost is so astronomical. We understand for, a, for a total we understand yearly budget than to have someone that does everything. And the way you guys have treated him... As far as what? Well, like well, what? Give, let's, us an example, yeah, give us an please. example of how we treat Bob. Let's talk about the overtime for snow plowing. Yeah, he gets paid for overtime. He gets paid if he for everything he does. Okay. I think the question. issue here is the fact that you're not reinstating my comp time. We can't. Yes, you can. I've talked to three attorneys now. I don't care how many attorneys you talk to. No, that's we your have, lawyer telling you. No, no, no. I'm speaking for myself. We have no paperwork to go by, Bob. We John's got any. John's got all copies of my CDs that I gave you what in 2008. Village does. I don't have any of the copies. Because unfortunately, all of your records were mysteriously lost. Yeah, somebody. Yeah, told me. yeah. I know where they went. Well, see if you can get him. So let's talk about that. So he reimburses the town for all of that money, and then he loses the time on top of that also? I've got a 17-page report that a judge said, and that's what we have to go by. Right, we can't override that no matter what we do. It's uh, not the village. Uh, I, no, I understand. I, okay. I understand but, that, Mike. But my the argument isn't with the village board. The argument, your argument should be with the judge who made the decision. You can't... Who brought the, who, who brought it in the first place? No, my my argument has to be with the village board. But what's the question? No, for the I don't board? Think, what would you like us to do? I don't Re think anybody disagrees with what's taken place. The way I look at it, and I've been around for a while, I don't think we, the village, the board, was prepared for the win. Now that you've won, what have we won? Exactly. We have a, we've lost. I'm a taxpayer. And I get this every day on the street. And I don't, if I'm getting missed facts, it's from, well, I don't want to say where it's from, but don't say I, I got a pretty good handle on a lot of things that take place. Mm -hmm. And as a taxpayer, as a village, we have, we've lost and we're losing. I agree and this you. responsibility has to go back onto the board to find a solution. There has to be a solution, gentlemen. Whether you're the board that initiated it or not. Right. I mean, the there's, there's, no, there's enough blame to go around. Let's get past what occurred and let's find a solution. Because as a taxpayer, I've seen the dollars that have been saved and I know what dollars could be saved. I agree with I don't you. Think any, I don't think anybody's taking advantage of anybody. No, I, I agree with that. Right. Well, Mike. I've voluntarily done what I've done. There has to be a solution, gentlemen. Get past the lawyers. 
Yeah, the word there should have never been any lawyers in the first place to do anything like that. Because come on, you, and, have you inquired on that, Mike? A, have no, you actually inquired? Can we give him the time back? We're, we're not allowed to. You can't give somebody anything in the village. We're not allowed to. It's against the law. So you can't. Even if we. Even it was common practice to allow accrual of time in this village. John knows it. Patty knows it. Patty was on the board when I was hired. She was on the board that gave Ron his money without making a resolution. That nobody went after that one. That was illegal too. Right. This is all legal yeah, well, stuff that's got nothing to do with us at this point. The judge made yeah. their decision. And we have to work from there. You're right, but I, there's nothing we can do legally. John and yes, I. There is. Because we can't give you back the time of something that happened how many years ago now? Why you took it. Pardon? You, you took it originally. Took what? The time, time and the money. We didn't do anything. You I mean, are the board. You're the board. Yeah, the previous board made. <laughs> no, but no, no, Mike, you are the board. You are the board. Well, bring the previous board in and we'll sit and talk with them, but that's not going to happen. You are the board. Correct. But we, I'm, we're telling you as the board sitting now, there's nothing we can do legally. Have, you, that have you investigated that? We've yes, we have. You we you tried you would you asked if you could give him his accrual time back. No, we can't. We know we can't do that. Then find because the Bob had asked us to do that. What the things Bob asked us to do, we did. We tried to do. They told us no, so we have to move on. John and I have talked about a couple of things. We haven't gotten down to perfection yet to see Bob, but there's a couple of things John and I have talked about. No. Nothing other than what I have to do is going to happen until this is solved. I would just say, gentlemen, for $14,000 is peanuts compared to what's been saved since I've been around here. Is peanuts. No one's arguing that. I know, well. Mike, and I'm Not just trying to reiter reiterate it, but there has to be an equitable solution. I can't believe, and all you gentlemen are fair minded. Sure. There has to be a way for people to sit down and get through some of the hostility and come up with a solution. Or the village, which now is me as a taxpayer, is going to pay the price, I guarantee it. Yeah, we're, I'm, I'm a taxpayer, all these folks here are taxpayers. No, well. but we got to think outside the box on this one. I just feel we're being pinched by attorneys. We need to get outside the box. Anytime. It can be done. Mm. It can be done. I'm not sure it's going to happen, but as you know, the legal system takes forever. Well, then I'll have kind of a mini vacation. But here's the thing. When you commit to a project, in my view, you should actually commit to it yeah. and go through it. Okay, put yourself in my place, Mike. Okay, you're making, you know, roughly because it's a public job, everyone knows about what you make. You probably make $90,000 a year, 80. What? With, Me? with your retirement and your health benefits. Mm -hmm. I think it's a very fair salary for what you're doing. Well, you know what? It's and not we, in my job description to do that. I know, but you already committed it's to too it. too bad, Mike. Like, if you would have won the lawsuit, would you have done that job? Yeah. Okay, so you're just taking because it out. Because I would have what I should back. have. It's my name fair. cleared and my money back. Yeah, but that's got nothing to do with us. You can't too bad. It has everything to do with you. And it has everything to do with this position working for this village. Yes, yes. I have busted my butt. We agree. And I have done more things over and above what I'm called for, including the crack ceiling and the paint striping. I voluntarily added that stuff on. I save you thousands of dollars just doing that stuff. City of Hornell, North Hornell, Town of Hornellsville, they hired both of those things out. Uh, we're not arguing about I that. added we, that stuff we in myself. That. We certainly appreciate well, that. But I'm not doing any of those added things now. That's all there is to it. Have you got something in writing that says I've committed to do this job? Yes. Oh, yeah? Really? When you look back on the minutes, oh. you put on there that you want to do Northridge. Yeah, I said I wanted to do Northridge. Well, yeah. I still want to do Northridge, but I'm not. Okay, but then you're hurting the taxpayer, you're hurting yourself. I'm a taxpayer too. I know, that's what I'm saying, you're hurting yeah, yourself well, too. It doesn't make any sense. It's like you have a vendetta. Oh, it doesn't make any sense? You yeah, have I do have a vendetta. The village because you lost. Have your name dragged through the mud for eight years, Mike. Uh, I did absolutely do nothing wrong. Mike, you Charlie's cannot quote say in the you didn't you do, do something it, wrong, you are it the board. catches up to you. And what did I do wrong, Charlie? 
besides come to work here. And have to... Read. That was your quote in the newspaper. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I like your support. You didn't read the other parts when I wrote that about you then. That was enough. I read the other part too. But... I have nothing but respect for it. Oh yeah? Then why that quote? I you think, think I did something wrong? No, I think it was probably towards the other party. I don't think she did anything wrong either. Would you guys don't realize whether the, whether or not she did anything wrong. Okay. The, the school hired a clerk of the works for their bus garage project. Right? One project. How many thousands of dollars do you think that cost? This village did eight water projects. Margaret was the clerk of the works. She was here at six in the morning. She'd be here at six at night doing all the added paperwork. I don't want to get into the right. We don't you know, get I'm not that. here to defend Margaret, but you guys don't know all the facts. I know that you're right. We don't know all the facts. But if that's why we're saying if we had something any to ability to help you, to go. we could. We would. You do have can. the ability. You can take my time, and I don't care what a judge or a lawyer says. You can reinstate my comp time with a resolution. We've tried that. They said no. We've asked who's, about who's who said, said no. no? Vogel said, Vogel said no. You listen to a lawyer and you're listening outside. Do Nine you do is not the right thing is. Tom, we, who we I've tried to ask. tell you that for years. Nine times is not the law. They're in the advisory committee. The do they're not the law. Okay. You have to ask the proper people. I understand. And if they're that. giving us advice, we have to go by that advice. Right. They're giving you a recommendation, but Correct. you're still an independent board. You're by a resolution, you board. can reinstate it. If you want to bad enough. If you're collectively able to, you can make this work. I know you can. I don't think we're trying hard enough. That's your opinion. That's true. We That's true. Respect your opinion. That's true. And I, you know, I'm not trying to make it an adversary thing, but right. I've looked at this from an outsider for a long time and been around to see some inside. Um, it's it's not right, gentlemen. It's not. I know there's a lot of things that aren't right. That's well, sure. we're focusing on one thing. I don't care about the other things. We can't cure the world's problems, but we can sure cure the problem that we have here. And I don't think there's been enough attention paid to it. We weren't prepared for the victory because we're going to pay the price. Over $14,000? Come on, you guys. Look at your budget. It's peanuts. <laughs> I'm just telling you, get away from them lawyers and you can probably figure it out.